I'm doing a coming drive for me today for my Xmas vlog. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say I'm going out to the post office, but I did that yesterday. I bought so much ASOS like stuff for presents. Like ASOS Klarna is like you know the buy now pay later. It is the best thing for like buying presents because you buy a few things like see what actually looks good and what you actually want to keep. That sounded kind of gross. <laughs> charge doesn't work too well like you know when you plug it in and the lights on it says it's charging and then like you have your maps on and it dies and you're just lost I had that all the time I have the worst luck with like I suppose it's not luck it's just me I'm doing something wrong but I have the worst problems with my phone dying and I'm like you know when I used to do work in London and that and I used to have to try and find like where everyone was meeting where the team was I could never find it because my phone would die and I'd be like well, I can't message them you know, and then I'd be like getting my iPad out my bag and trying to find some like cafe Wi-Fi. It used to be the biggest like hassle just because, you know, I'd use like all, like I charged 100%, get on the train for like two hours, be on my phone constantly, watching constant YouTube, like, you know, Netflix, just constantly on my phone. It would die literally as I was probably like two miles away and then I'd just be screwed. And I usually go to like, at Waterloo there's like, um, is it a prep? It's like a, like a whole food, like really healthy food. I always used to go there and use their Wi-Fi and get one of their like smoothies, which are like extra special and expensive because it's yeah, London. So my first point of call is, I'm trying to think, I've got like this hanging up here. You can't see it, it's like a black bag. Um, I bought my brother a suit jacket. My mum bought my brother a suit jacket from work. I'll get Eminem's by the way. Um, but it doesn't, it's, it's not right, so she wants me to change or something else. Um, I need to go to Dunelm and b and which are luckily right next to each other. So I'm going to pop there, and then it's like 10 minutes to work from there. So much traffic. Okay. Oh, it's basically where I live, it's like a, a peninsula. Okay, a peninsula. So my town is literally on the water, so I do live on like the seafront, which is great. But then to get out of my town, there's only like one road in and out, and it takes like half an hour just to get to the next town. And then from there, there's a train station and a motorway. So they're like, I don't live in the middle of nowhere. Like I live in a proper place. It is ridiculous. Proper place. <laughs> I don't mean like that. I mean like I live in like a town. Like you know, there's a lot of stuff built up. Um, like right next to me I've got massive like McDonald's and M&S and Iceland and all that do you know what I mean um but it's just they only have one road in and out they got rid of their train station for unknown reasons um and then literally when I want to get a train normally I have to get a ferry which is just ridiculous it's only like four minutes the journey is only four minutes but the fact is I have to get a ferry which when you tell people it's just like you know, when especially when I was younger, to go to college, sometimes I would moped to, because I had a moped, I'd moped to the bus stop, like the main one, and then I would get a ferry over, and then from the ferry I'd get the train to Southampton, like Little Eastleigh, which is Southampton, um, and then I'd either walk to college, depending on how late I was, or I'd get a bus from the train station to college, and it was the longest journey and the biggest faff, and it took well over an hour. I mean, the walk from the train station to college, like in Southampton, was 20 minutes on its own. So it was just, just the biggest faff. I like how I'm doing a Christmas vlog, I'm just talking about random stuff. That is me though, I just talk about everything randomly. How are your guys day today? <laughs> I always do that, I'll talk about myself so much, like, well, not, not necessarily about myself, but I'll just talk so much and have so much like that I want to tell my friends. And then I'm like, anyway, how are you? Like, I'm going to shut up, tell me, because I want to know, but, and I, I'll listen and I really care. It's just that sometimes I just get carried away and then I'm like, afterwards, I'm like, I've been talking a lot. <laughs> and like, that's not good. No one wants that. So I have to try and rein myself in. Luckily in here, <laughs> well, not unlucky, I guess. There's no one to rein me in, so I'm just talking away in the traffic. I feel like 
that you can hear my slurps. I think I'm a noisy drinker. I didn't think I was till right now, and then I can hear myself, and I'm like, oh, I'm a noisy drinker. It may just be that it's this thing. And I, <laughs> I'm just showing you as I'm driving. But the reason I need to go to Dunelm and B&Q is, you saw my tree. I love it, but it is a bit bare still. And the problem is, I thought I had loads of baubles, and every single one I chose like individually, like. I went out to garden centres, I went to the range, I went to Dunelm, I went to um, Winchester Christmas Market, but yeah, everything I chose up myself, other than this one packet that I think I showed you, that I bought from the range, which had four different kinds of baubles in, and even then I only used two pines, because those are the only two I like, like the gold ones and like the pine cones, so I've got like six, eight, I've got eight baubles at home that I'm not going to use, because I just don't like them. And the problem is, I was like, my tree's so bare, I need some like tree fillers. So I went to Dunelm, them being cute, and I bought like a load of cheaper baubles. Like they're only like two pounds for like six and that, which is really good. Or like the other ones I was buying were like four pound per bauble. But then I loved them all and each one's like perfect. And each one was like my theme. Um, but I've got them in the car and I kept looking at them and I was like, I don't like them. Like, I just, they weren't right, like, after all the other ones I bought had been so nice, and they were like, in my opinion, so perfect, and like, what I'd done is, when I'd gone to like garden centres, I'd just put anything I, I liked into the basket, and then only chosen the ones I loved, the ones that I was like, I definitely gonna get this, because it's a lot of money, it does add up, and I don't wanna be buying ones that, like, I like, but I don't love, if that makes sense. So I see double chin notes. <laughs> um, and now I've got them in the car, I keep on looking at them and I'm just, I'm not going to put them on the tree. At the end of the day, like my mum keeps on saying, just buy lots of cheap ones and then every year you can get more and um, eventually you'll have all nice baubles, like all perfect, like really nice ones. And I get what she's saying and it will fill up my tree, but at the end of the day, two pound each, it still adds up, or four pound or whatever it is. And I just don't want to be spending that money, I just don't. I'd rather return them, go to work because I work at M&S. And there's, no, there's some baubles there that I actually really like. And I'm just gonna buy like two of those. And I'd rather do that. And then I can buy some more nice ones in the Christmas sale in January. Rather than just have the cheap shitty ones that then I have to store that I don't even like. Or that I'm only gonna, like even a pound, if you're not gonna keep it, it is kind of a waste. I don't like buying stuff just to throw it away. Because I throw stuff away, like, if something, I'm massive throw away, like I don't hoard at all, like if something isn't like, I don't really, really like it, I will just throw it out or donate it or, you know, I go to, I go to the um, Salvation Army clothing drop a lot, just because I'm not going to keep anything that I don't think I'm going to wear, I don't really like, doesn't have a place for, you know, like there's nothing I'm too sentimental about, you know, you've got memories and you've got photos. Um, so that no, I do have a teddy bear still. <laughs> From when I was like two, and uh, she's under the bed. <laughs> Basically, point of the story is I'm a spender, but a certain kind of spender. I will spend like so at the moment when I work at MS, but it's just at Christmas time, just a temporary staff. Um, but that means you get paid weekly, so every single Friday I get paid, which is very good. It means it's hard to save because you only get a certain, like a smaller amount, but it means that like. Like I'm going shopping on Wednesday uh, to Westford in London with my friend Catherine, which I'll take with me, hopefully. Um, and so we're going shopping on Wednesday, and when I go crazy, I mean, I've, only, I've got, literally got £100, is it? My, my account has £100 for shopping with her. Um, it will be Christmas shopping, hopefully. Maybe some on the side. <laughs> that was the worst case. Mm. But yeah, so we'll be doing Christmas shopping. Um, £100 budget. And then even if I spend all a hundred and I have no money left, other than like my help to buy ice, I have money in my help to buy ice, so. but that's like for a house. And if you take that out, the government like won't give you, cause basically, I'm just, I'm just talking about houses now. And um, basically we're saving up for a house. Um, it will be like years. Um, you know, I don't have a full-time job, I'm still at university. I'm in my last year. I'm applying for graduate jobs though. So if any graduate recruiters are watching this, hit me up. No, seriously, I, would, I really need a job. <laughs> Um, but yeah, and what am I saying? I'm just rambling on. Um, yeah, we're going to Western London shopping. Help to buy ice, though. There you go. Help to buy ice, though. Basically, all it is is a government scheme. 
you can put 1,200 in at the beginning. That's like the maximum you can put in, but I recommend don't open it until you can put 1,200 in because it every other month, like every month, not every other, every month, you're only allowed to put 200 pounds in as your maximum. And if you put it in and then take it out, you can't then put it back in that month. So you've lost that month's allowance, which I didn't know. So I kept on like taking like 10 pound out and then putting 10 pound back in. And, and then I kept on getting rejected the next month from returning to my account. So I lost a few, quite a, I lost like two months worth of like, I lost basically 400 pounds. Like not lost it, but I didn't get, I didn't get to keep it in there. And then I just spent it because I had them. Um, but yeah, but it means that when it comes to it and when we actually can get a house, what we can do is we go to the bank, we tell them, you can't just close it on your own. You have to like go to the bank and do it properly. Tell them you want to close your account, like your ISA, because you are ready to like buy a house. And then they'll sort it out. So the government gives you, I think it's 25% or whatever you put in there, up to a certain amount, up to like 10,000, I think. But my mum was just calling um, about the world. Um, I can't go this morning because I'm doing these errands quickly and then I've got work. So I literally have no time for the Slimming World. Um, not to say that it's not good. Slimming World is great. Um, I've literally just just doing now since it's moving in with my boyfriend. So it's been like three months. I'm feeling good actually. Although I went to a stage where I felt like so much slimmer and like I felt good. And it took me a while to get to that. Like I actually felt really good about myself. Like not really good about myself, but better than I normally do. I felt so much better about myself than I normally do, and I I had a lot more confidence around my boyfriend. Like I haven't got the most confidence. And most people don't. I don't think. I think a lot of people have bravado. But yeah, and um, this, is talking, this is just me talking about everything. But anyway, everything and anything. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I had um, a lot more confidence around him. like, And that's what I wanted. I, like, I don't need confidence all the time in general. Although it would be nice. But I just wanted to feel confident around him. Because it makes a massive difference to your partner. It's so sexy when someone is confident and like, you know... It's so obvious when someone is like, you know, cutting off themselves and isn't doesn't feel great and isn't is insecure. Um, so yeah, I've been holding the string up for ages because I'm resting my arm. I'm just in traffic, barely moving. Um, but yeah, and I felt like a lot better. But although I'm still, I haven't gained any weight. I'm still a stone and a half lighter. I like, I feel podgy again. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, you just feel like you don't feel like yourself. You feel like you feel like you and then there's like teflon or, like you know like the teflon man or michelin man or something there's like you feel like there's something encompassing you like my belly is not my belly like my belly is meant to be flat like in my head and then when you touch it it's like that's not that's not how i think it is <laughs> like you know what i mean like it's hard to explain but i'm sure you guys get it like when your body doesn't feel like your body because it's not what you want if that makes sense like i'm not comfortable with my own skin basically basically what it comes down to because I'm not what I would envision myself as <laughs> that sounds like it's deluded though it's more um, what I want to be not even like perfect like in, in that sense but what what I know I can be because I've you know I've, I've had before um but then I just ate too much and didn't exercise you know I, I want to be that again I know everyone's like you should just be comfortable with who you are and I know as I go through that stage where I'm like Oh, I'll wait to lose weight to wear this and all this. You know, I, oh, I can't wear that style because I'm too big. But then I go through a stage where I'm like, but that's my style. Like, that is what I love. That's what I wear. You know, if not now, when? Like, I may never lose weight. And then I'll never be able to wear my style. And I'll never, you know, feel stylish or whatever. Or feel comfortable. Or, um, so sometimes there'll be stages where I'm like, I will just wear that. Like, that is my style. I'm just gonna wear it. Like, it doesn't matter, you know, what size I am. I have to learn to be comfortable and happy with how I am. And then I go through other stages where I'm like, I'm not happy with who I am. And I'm just not. And I need to lose weight or I need to, you know. So it's a hard one. And I'm just like, oh, I hate myself. And like, Again, that sounds so harsh, but it's true it is like and I think a lot of people go for it I don't think it's just me sounding you know extreme or whatever like I just don't like myself like my body and anyway 
Christmas. <laughs> Christmas errands, Christmas errands. <laughs> you know when like someone has like crazy eyes. I feel like I keep doing crazy eyes. You know when you can just be like, they're a bit crazy. You know, honestly, I've done it before. Me and my boyfriend are like, watch something. I'm like, she's crazy. And he's like, what? And I'm like, her eyes, she's got crazy eyes. And then she does something totally crazy. And I'm like, see, told you. <laughs> and he's like, oh my God, you're right. <laughs> and now we're like, we also got crazy eyes. I think it's quite nice though. Like, I think getting in the car is a good way for me to get used to like talking to you and talking to the camera. And um, I can't like get too caught up in my own self. And be like, how am I looking? Like, you know, is my mouth that lopsided? Like, um, what the fuck is wrong with your eyebrows which I keep on looking at don't worry I just see them too um, but yeah um, what am I saying yeah so this is a good way of like I think getting myself into vlogs and like doing it and uh, I hope you guys are kind of enjoying it and like getting to know me a bit and hopefully all my friends and family as well watching this um, oh gosh oh I feel like I'm racing him you know in the lane merges into one I had that scenario not too good. Um, I pulled back, I, you know, I gave in because my car's not done first. <laughs> I'm still quite new to YouTube. Like, I posted my first video like five months ago, and I've just been like, I am literally the biggest YouTube addict. Like, honestly, my boyfriend, like, thinks I have a problem. Genuinely, he's like, you're always on there, like, what is your obsession with YouTube? And I am, like, I love it. Like, most of the time, I won't, like, I, mean, I watch a lot of Netflix too, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> But only after I've watched everything like on YouTube that I want to watch that day. Uh, and I just, I spend so many hours, like rather than watching TV or all that, like normal TV. We don't watch normal TV because we don't want to, um, in all honesty, we don't want to pay for TV license. It's like £100 and pounds, uh, we're not going to use it because I watch YouTube, we watch Netflix, and he plays Xbox. That's it. Basically, I'm just the biggest YouTube fan ever. Like do it myself as well. I want to like, I want to be part of that community so much, and I want to meet new people and I want to like make new friends. And I think it's hard sometimes as an adult. Like I am at university, but I'm only in twice. I'm only in full time because I'm an English student. We're only in twice a week. Like basically, when I went, when I redid my second year, I didn't know anyone because they'd all. So all the people I did know went into third year, and all the people who were in first year came in second year of me so I didn't know anybody luckily I made some friends at boxing but even then one of them we're not really friends with anymore and the other one went to um which she finished because all the people I knew when I started uni um have graduated they're all finished now and I'm still there it is hard like it, university is can be so good and it can be so hard I always just lapse into talking about the pros and cons of university and how it is and what our parents think it is like and how our parents are like it was the best time of my life but don't get me wrong like it is in in certain ways but at the same time like everyone's depressed everybody's anxious everybody everybody's lonely everybody's homesick everyone's poor everyone's so poor everyone's on drugs like you know everyone's saying we're fuck boys like there's so many sadly and it's I mean I think that's maybe just life maybe the problem is being at university you see everything and you know everyone's problems and everyone's issues whereas I suppose in the real world you only know your close friends and your work colleagues aren't like really telling you and you don't see it you only see the professional life whereas at university like you're living like I lived in a house of 12 people my first year and seven people my second year like and, and also you're in close proximity of people that you maybe didn't choose and you know people can have arguments or disagreements or n maybe not maybe no argument or disagreement you just don't like each other do you know what I mean like or they just don't like you or you did and then you don't like it is a lot it's a lot it's a lot I could just talk about university forever honestly and I probably make no sense but I know what I'm saying like I know what I mean and uh yeah Basically, I'm doing like, you know, um, Kathleen Light, she does ram random rambles. I feel like I'm a random rambler, definitely. I, I uh, feel her, I feel her. <laughs> but yeah, what's your guys' favorite YouTuber? Like, honestly. Because um, I wouldn't mind, like, although I watch so much YouTube, I wouldn't mind, like, having some more people to watch. 
Um, my my current favorite. I'm saying current, but she's been my favorite for like forever. Honestly, is Lydia Ellis Millen, and I just honestly love her. Like, I love watching her vlogs. I love how like glamorous, and I love her style. Like, not just her clothing, although I love her clothing, but her home, the way she decorates. Um, I love how luxury she is, but not in like a like in your face kind of way. That's brilliant lighting, um, but not in like an in your face way. Um, yeah, I really enjoy her. I love Kathleen. I love how honest she is, and I love that she speaks about like it sounds weird to say, but like mental health and that. Like, because I basically I do get really anxious, and technically. Technically, I don't like saying it though for some reason. I guess I don't like to categorise, but I have got anxiety. Um, and I do have medication for it, although I'm not currently I'm not taking it because I don't want to be that person on, you know, on medication. Um, so just like, but then sometimes I do have really bad moments or periods. Um, and yeah, like, but I like that she talks about it, and I like that she's so honest. Oh emotional I don't need to talk about that but that but the problem is I think like that's the thing about university again like so many people have it though like it's not just like it's almost like just jump on the bandwagon it's almost like that like so I don't really like talking about it because of that but at the same time I also think it needs awareness and people need to talk about it because so many people suffer with it not just anxiety but anything like you know depression and there's so many different things and I always was always someone who's in all honesty a bit skeptical but I've always been an anxious person I, I get anxious you know and I would never say I had anxiety until until I went to university and then I had like those sort of like problems in second year um like big ones like not just like little like things like family stuff that I'd never had like basically had bereavement and I'd never lost anybody other than the year before who was my great grand who was 99 years old so you kind of expect that um and then I had like other stuff like my dog <laughs> This is like a pity party, but also my dog died um, the month after my uh, my papa did, um, and then like some other stuff happened too, like personal stuff. Like, although that's personal as well, um, and yeah, it was just it was really difficult. Um, I just went into this like little. I went in my, into myself. I went into my own head, and and I'd already been in a funny place before that. Like I didn't want to go out. Like I was constantly making excuses, and I was always trying to pretend like I was fine, always, and like. And I always just, I don't want to, I don't want to go out. I would say I would and then I'd flake out. My, my friends started calling me the flake. <laughs> they were just like, oh, she's like a snowflake. Um, although one of them was like, oh, like a, like a bar, like a, a Cadbury's bar. And then one of them was a bit mean and was like a dandruff flake. Um, but yeah, and I, I, I was, I became a flake, even though we lived together. And it was generally because like, I just, I would think I was, was going to and I get in my own head and I just, I don't want to get out of bed. I like, I'd, I'd start worrying about like everyone around me, like m like my grandparents dying and so it was just awful. And anyway, stop being depressing. But yeah, I'm just saying, I really like that Kathleen talks about like anxiety and that, and she does it in such like an honest but funny way, and you can really listen to her. Yeah. So anyway, enough of that. Those bubbles I told you about, bubbles, the Dunelm ones. So I got the bubbles. I don't know if these are being cute. These are Dunelm. See now I'm looking at them. I'm like, oh, should I keep them? They're fine. Don't want them. My theme is like neutrals, gold, um, wood, you know, and then these just aren't alright. I mean this is orange, I mean I love orange, I've got really into burnt orange as you can see. Um but yeah, I'm gonna return them. I don't need them. Only two pound each, only four pound back. I'm still gonna return them. I don't want them. I, I, I'm just gonna throw them out if not, it's two pounds gone. I'll go and do that. So return those, it's literally just four pound in cash, it's all, but only two pound each, which is brilliant by the way if you're looking for baubles. Um but anyway, it's four pound back, that means I can buy one really nice one from MS. <laughs> and I'd rather do that, in all honestly. Like that money is I'm gonna spend on decorations, that's fine. Um but I wanna spend it on like stuff I love and I don't want to waste. So I'm gonna really quick to pop to B Q which is just here. Oops. And then I will go to m &S and whilst I'm at work I also need to return a top that I bought. I haven't got a receipt for it but I've still got the tags in it so I'll probably just exchange it. And the reason I'm doing that is because I bought it um, and hung it up 
and it's been like four weeks. I haven't even looked at it, haven't touched it. I don't want to wear it. I'm not going to. I, I, don't, I just don't feel is that flattering or you know on me. So I don't know why I got it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to return that top and exchange it, and also exchange my brothers. Okay. I'm returning these, which are awful. They're honestly awful. I was kind of thinking I could kind of get away with these two. And those ones I weren't, I mean, weren't, I wasn't going to use, but honestly, awful, very really bad. These are really cute, nice colours, but just wasn't sold, just wasn't sold. So I'm probably going to say goodbye now, because I'm going to buy into the EQ, return those, and then I'm going to go to work and do other stuff, oh, I'm talking away, and do the other stuff I need to, and I'm all done now. So um, thank you very much for joining me, I hope this wasn't too long, I hope you like watched it through and enjoyed chatting, like, I like watching these myself, so I'm hoping you like them too. Um, oops, in the kind of <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Um, um, stay tuned. Please let me know what you liked, maybe what you didn't. Um, thumbs up if you liked it, and do subscribe. I am new. I'm, I'm hoping to keep doing this. Alright, bye.